What is going on Adventure Nation? In this episode, we hit the Alaska State Fair. Maybe some other stuff, who knows? <laughs> this is the Motorhome Experiment. As you can tell, we're running late. Like, look at my hair. I didn't even dry it. <laughs> like, yeah, check out here is 11 o'clock. It's now probably mm -hmm. around 12.30. We we're running it was noon. extremely late. No, it's yeah, noon. we did thought we did it's think noon. it was noon. It is noon now? Yeah. Oh, it's noon. So we're only an hour late for checkout. I'm gonna blame my daughter Allie for that. They called and I just kept talking and I just didn't thought realize. it was noon checkout. So I was yeah. like, oh, we're okay. That's why I let him talk and all that. But Lori's <laughs> had enough of this campground. We're here at Centennial. Uh, it's a state this park. Is a nice campground, I have to say. It's just right outside of the city, but it's not like super outside. Like you have literally across the highway, you have like Target and Best Buy, and all the amenities are right here, like 20 minutes from downtown. Right, yeah. very, very handy to very Anchorage. Handy, and the spaces are super spacious. Uh, this one had electricity, 35 bucks for electricity. Right, 35 electricity and 25 for just uh, dry, camping. dry camping. But yeah, pretty, pretty nice site. Yeah, it's huge. Our Partners in crime, they already left. They're down there at the dump station and it's time for us to get there as well. Yeah, and half of the campground, as you can see, it was closed because those little pink signs over there and they say, uh, be careful there's bear around or sites closed because of bears are around. We were here for quite a while, like two weeks and we didn't see any bear whatsoever. So we still haven't seen a bear in Alaska. Sad. Are you ready to go? <laughs> yes. Let's do this. Let's go. Just rolling over here, we're gonna Use the dump station quick. We'll watch this guy and see how he does it. And if he does it right, then maybe we'll learn how to do it. All right, rolling out of the dump station, all set up and ready to go, and rolling out of Centennial Campground. After two weeks away, I almost forgot how all this stuff works. Lori had to retrain me. Pretty much, you forget how RV. Uh, there he works and all that. I feel like I have a new husband, like I'm dating yeah. somebody new too. Yeah. yeah, so we are rolling down towards Palmer, Alaska. We've already spent some time there, but we are going to try and check out the Alaska State Fair. So that should be fun. See the giant vegetables that Alaska is known for. The 1,400 pound pumpkins and stuff like that. So it should be interesting. That would be cool. And by the way, the tickets, uh, they're sold at the box office right there, but you can buy a pack of four for a lot cheaper than the actual fare. So if you have a chance to buy them beforehand, like if you're planning on going, go to Costco and just buy the four pack, a lot cheaper. Very cool. At Costco? Yeah. Wow. Cool. So off we go to Palmer. Yeah, let's have some breakfast too. Yeah, we didn't <laughs> get breakfast in, so. Nothing a banana. Cool. We've been locked up all day in the RV. You ready to go to the Alaska State Fair? Yeah, working, working. It has been raining earlier today. Hopefully that stops right now. Yeah, the sky still looks a little bit cloudy, but uh, not too bad. So we're gonna go check out and see how Alaska does their state fair. Let's do it. These guys are coming with us. All right, we found parking, and now we're heading into the fair. This is gonna be interesting. It is busy here. There's not a lot to do in Palmer on a Friday night, so it is packed. I think it's just a thing to do here, so everybody comes from Anchorage, Palmer. It is the Alaska State yeah. Fair, the state that's much larger than Texas. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, check this out. Look at that truck over there. How cool is that? Look at Laura and their Instagram. And it's towing a uh, smart car behind it. That's awesome. We're going to come in. 
look at the animals, check them out. And there is a lot of animals. Pretty cool. What do you think about getting a goat for the RV? Oh, a tiny goat. Like, look, there's one tiny there. I think this has given Lorena way too many ideas for a friend for Ozzy. Tiny little goat, just no, saying. No goats. No Why goats, not? no pigs, no more cats. Well, pigs, they look too big. No dogs. Like, they will take in my entire space in the RV. There is a reindeer over here, though. Ooh, let's check it out. Okay, I'm not really into flowers, but these are pretty cool. And here it is, the moment you guys have all been waiting for. The world record pumpkin. It's huge. Help me out. I'm gonna sit next to it so you can have a perspective how big it is. Oh, heads up, Lori. Oh. Well, see how big it is. It's huge. I don't know, Lori. To me, your head looked as big as that pumpkin. That's not nice. Somebody's sleeping in the couch tonight. <laughs> That's crazy. Is that a zucchini? There is some serious competition going on in here. They're about to weigh the cabbages to see if there's a new world record for cabbages. How exciting. Yeah, which one waits more? Just, I'm waiting with bated breath. I, I just, the anticipation is killing me. It's a thing here, why not? Oh my God, he's just a party pooper. Now this is the big boy. This is the one they expect to win. Frozen fingers. Uh, what weight is going to be the most? So Brian, and by the looks of those scouts struggling to put that on the scale, it's gonna be 85 to 90 pounds. Oh, now you're an expert. Now I'm an expert on the cabbage. Yes. Okay, um, that's, that's my estimate weight, 85, 90 pounds. 85, 90. I go with 83. 83 pounds. Wow, you're going. All right, got it. Very specific. Okay, Lori, here comes the announcement. So, 94 pound cabbage. Woo, I win! Yeah, yeah. No, you didn't. You said 83, I said between 85 and 90. Not say. Okay, you win. What you win? I don't know. <laughs> no, come on. You got to go on one. No. I know which one. How much are tickets? It's so expensive. <laughs> what do you think, Lori? Are we in? No. No. Kevin, are you in? Definitely, not this one. I never, I never. But unfortunately, this is more our speed right here. Not our. It's your speed. This is my speed. Pulls <laughs> like crazy stuff, but me, after actually a meal, I think I can do it. Lori's enjoying a piece of corn, and we're getting ready to head on out of the fair. I think we're about done. Yeah, I mean, there's not that much to do, but just walk around, see all the shops, eat, and we did it and all. And then head on out, right? So we're gonna head on out. <laughs> 
No. Good morning, everybody. We didn't record this little overnight spot because we recorded it before along the Matanuska River. In Palmer. In Palmer, Alaska. But uh, very convenient overnight to the Alaska State Fair. Yep, very close. And today we'll be making our way up to Talkeetna and closer to Denali. And we had the folks from Alaska Bush Plains shoot us a picture and say that Denali is in full view today. And of course, by the time we get there. Hopefully we can still see it because I guess 25, 30% of the people, something like that, only get to see Denali. So hopefully it's still clear by the time we get there. So close my fingers. Yeah, you know that ain't gonna happen. Oh, I'm going to be such a negative person. <laughs> so off the road, off and down the road we go, or up the road we go? Yes. And we're kind of on the, the back side of our Alaska trip. We only have probably a couple more weeks to go here, and then we're heading back down into the lower 48. Little by little now. Yep, little by little. Yeah, we have some cool stops along the way, but... <laughs> yeah. Or two or three. We're still not quite out of Alaska, I mean, it's like... No, not not by any stretch of the, of the means. Of the yeah. word? Of the means? Of the way? I don't know. That's I am not a English scholar for sure. How you say it in English? I... <laughs> <laughs> up to Talkeetna here we decided to stop in at the birch syrup company Alaska birch syrup company and we're gonna check them out see what yeah. birch syrup's all about hopefully they have tours let's do some tasting gift shop. Um, it will always be this first run syrup. We don't sell the other runs anywhere else. Time for uh, tasting. Flavor to it. Goes really good for like pancakes. Even the color changes a little bit. This one has more of like a Dark. cherry like flavor to it because of that fruit toast. Um, this is my personal favorite syrup. So Kalhitna Birch Works, the birch syrup place, pretty cool. It was good, and their stuff is like so cool. Yeah, the staff is really cool. The products were awesome, and uh, I will say they're they're not cheap, but they are absolutely cool. unique to Alaska and to this area, and very very cool. This is a very Alaskan product as well, and it takes a lot just to do literally one gallon of this syrup. So I think that's why it's pricey, right. just for what it takes to get it, basically. Yeah. And uh, just, a, just a neat experience, great stop. And now on to Talkeetna. What do you think? Oh, it's an amazing view. A little bit of clouds, but still an amazing view. <laughs> so as you can see, absolutely gorgeous view of Denali from here. What's really weird is that I really had never heard of Denali, and then as Lori and them were reading that it was formerly Mount McKinley, light bulb went off in my head. Mount McKinley I definitely knew as the largest peak, the tallest peak in North America. So very cool. It has been renamed Denali because it was originally <laughs> named Denali by the uh, indigenous people. So, cool stuff. Beautiful peak. What do you got there, Lori? Oh my god. Oh, it's his new friend. 
What is it? It's a bunny burrito. It's a bunny burrito. Oh, I need to hide. It's camera shy. Look at them. This one's here too. Good morning, everybody. This morning, we're gonna go and check out Denali. We checked out the little town of Takitna yesterday a little bit, but today we're gonna go see Denali from a different perspective. You ready? I'm ready. Wow, you look so excited, Paul. I'm we're excited. Go. We're ready. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> All right, the, so this morning we are gonna go see Denali, and yes. we're gonna see it from a different perspective. You guys, probably couldn't guess how we're gonna go see that. Maybe if they give you guys two or three guesses, you might be able to... It's gonna be a surprise, I guess. Yeah, it's gonna be a surprise. We're not gonna tell you guys how we're getting there or what company we're using or any of that stuff, so let's go. You will have to guess. Yeah, you'll have to guess. <laughs> You've never been on a float plane before? No, float plane is first time, so that's kind of cool. See how it's to take up from water. Is the small plane, the first small plane you did, was that with Aaron Young and them and? No, um, it was in Las Vegas, in the Henderson, a Husky. Oh, that's right, yeah. you were on the small plane in the Husky. All right, I gotta give you guys a briefing before we get going here. Emergency exit, left door, handle down lock, up's open. Flotation device, plenty of seat back. Park extinguishers in front of my seat and emergency gear in aft compartment. And my name is Albert. Cool. And I will brief you on the headsets. They're very, very delicate. So when you put them on and off, make sure you hold them by the cuff.
guess you're gonna have to stay. Let I'm, me out. No, you're gonna have to stay. I'll see you later. I'm heading out. Our expert pilot, Will, has landed us up here at Sphinx Lake. And it is absolutely gorgeous up here. And there was a moose in the area. We've got tracks, but we're hoping that he doesn't come out while we're out here on this little peninsula because we have nowhere to go if he shows up, except for in the water. Well, we can always, and I doubt that's going to happen. We can always pet it. You can pet it? Probably. You could do that. <laughs> yeah. But there were some swans here. The swans that are over here? That was a welcoming party. It was the swans. So how was your flight? It was amazing, like the views, luckily the weather cooperated. So we were able to see all the glaciers that they're amazing. And then we came like literally over a mountain and then the mountain range, and then we are on green. Like green looks like ice line. Yeah, it's so pretty amazing. <laughs> it's pretty cool. By the way, we've never been to Iceland, so we have no idea if it looks like Iceland. I know like why Iceland. we always bring it up. It could look like <laughs> Turkey. I don't know, or I guess what the, I have seen Brazil. on pictures, isn't it? Well, Probably what we've seen in pictures. pictures. That's why. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, could be Ethiopia. So you're in Iceland. Don't get offended. We just don't know any better. We yeah, we don't know what we're talking about, <laughs> as usual. How was it, Lori? It was amazing. It was a lot smoother than expected, but beautiful scenery. It was awesome. But we had a great pilot. Yeah. We survived the float plane. We did. Actually, it was a lot smoother than expected. I thought like landing on water, it was going to be kind of hard, but no, I mean, it was just no, like gliding. Really, really smooth. And of course, Will's been doing this a little while. 40 something years. <laughs> yeah, so he's really good at it. This little area here where you come in to get signed into the airplanes uh, is really, really kind of cool. Beautiful setting. And the lake itself is just such a beautiful setting. We really, really enjoy our time and uh, it was a pretty neat experience for sure. Yep. What are we doing now? Let's go and find out what we're going right. to do. Oh yeah. <laughs> These guys are out biking around so now I think we're, you know, when we get together we're probably going to go eat. It's normally <laughs> what happens. <laughs> we already ate. And it's our last night in Talkeet now. We were out having pizza out here with Vegan RV, over here at Mile High Pizza, out here with Arlene from the Alaska Bush Air Service. The float planes we flew on today was her husband and her father in law's company. Got Angelique here and a lady we flew on the plane with today, Ruth. So we're just all hanging out here in the middle of the street, just blocking traffic, because that's what you do here in Talkeet now, because there's just not much going on. It's really a cool little town. But uh, tomorrow we'll be moving on up the road. Pretty cool. All right, obviously we're losing light here in Telkeetna, losing it big time, but we're heading down to the river and this is where we're gonna end this video. So if this is your first time here, it'd be awesome if you subscribe to the channel, stay up to date on all of our travels. It would be equally as cool if you liked the video and we'll see you again next time. Bye guys. He keeps stealing my lines. Bye. Hey Lorena, what should they do? What should they do, Laurie? Subscribe. Yes. Subscribe. <laughs> Give it a yeah. thumbs up. There you go. <laughs> Goes to the other side. Oh, you can see it too, on video. Yeah, that's a, a moose right there. That's pretty interesting here at the Talkeetna Lodge.